the seeds for this movie were planted probably 10 years ago. I never thought of myself as, as much of a horror fan, um, but I've been very impacted by the movie. This is a life story, you know? It's rich, it's got history to it. There's a lot underneath the lines. The, the writing was phenomenal. Charlie did this excellent job. Charlie and I have gone through a lot together. I've seen her do a lot of hard things. I've seen her do a lot of brave things. I've seen her go through things that are challenging beyond, you know, what most people could even imagine. And the fact that she's here now telling this story in this way is the bravest thing I've seen her, maybe anyone, do. I'm Charlie Monroe. I was the screenwriter, one of the directors, and an executive producer on Biters and Bleeders. I've read so many horror scripts where you read it and you're like, oh yeah, that's cool, like there's a stabby scene, like let's do that. But this one you read it and you're like, oh, there's something interesting going on here with these characters, like what is that? When I first read the script, the climax was what really impacted me, and it, it gave me chills. And I, and I was reading it, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> this film manages to toe the line as an extremely emotionally affecting film that also has fun with the horror. Being able to have, you know, obviously the excitement for the blood stabby stuff, but just having the, the excitement for like wanting to find out like where these characters are coming from and where they eventually end up, that really jumped out to me. I know where a lot of these stories come from. I know what she had to go through and where she's been in order to write this story and in order to be able to tell this story. It is the ultimate example of an artist taking their pain and turning it into something that is not only beautiful, but Hopeful. On a personal level, seeing this movie that was born from some pretty dark times in my life, um, and seeing something, creating something really affecting, really emotionally affecting and viscerally kind of uncomfortable to watch, it felt really cathartic. To me, it felt very realistic with the way it handled um, what these this toxic relationship was going through um, for both characters, not just from one perspective. I think that's what really makes like a good story and something that people can connect to from both sides because we all have all of the aspects of that in us. Being in kind of like a toxic relationship, like lose a part of yourself. The seeds for this movie were planted probably 10 years ago. And I think that little pieces of this movie have like occurred to me throughout that decade. And it feels like, you know, you're walking through a neighborhood and you walked up to a window and you're looking at someone's house. Like it just felt so realistic and, and, and raw. And to me, that's what this film is. It really explores a relationship that's raw. Very beautiful, like hauntingly beautiful. But I really love that like claustrophobic, like almost trapped in a space. Um, so just that tension and like escalation kind of was really interesting to me because you see those emotions just build as things go on. Once everything comes together, it's such like a moving experience to have of like seeing the actors kind of move through the emotions of a scene or like the dynamic. Play out in a very real and organic way. I really wanted to create that for other people and for myself. And so seeing seeing that this movie is making people react is probably the best I've ever felt working on a project. I don't think she realizes yet the power of what she has done. I think this will be a long line of people who are positively impacted by seeing this movie. And a long line of people who love horror who are gonna love seeing this movie. <laughs>